Hey golfers, Tony McMullen, the founder of Smart Golf Academy here. I want to give you a tip that's going to help you with those in-between yardages for your full swings for your wedges and your irons. It's a real easy way for you to not have to change your golf swing, but get a little better outcome, a little more control over that yardage, that lesser yardage, if you will. But first, we'd love it if you'd give us a like and a subscribe to the channel here. We would love the opportunity to be able to partner with you and work with you and give you some things that's gonna make your game better, make you enjoy the game more, and help you with your improvements. So those swings that we're talking about, just for easy math, this is my seven iron. Let's say I wanted to hit my seven iron, let's say my stock number was 150 yards for my seven iron. And let's say I'm hitting it into a green that is only, I only need about 142 yards, and there's water on the backside of the green. So going long really isn't a, isn't going to be a good option for us. So 150 for my 7 iron, and let's say my 8 iron, I hit it 135, 137, somewhere in that range there. So I'm going to have to hit my 8 iron harder, which usually doesn't work out very well, or I can take a little bit off my 7 iron. So taking a little bit off, I'd like to do that, but I really don't want to change my swing. Here's how we're going to do that, okay? My normal grip, my positioning, my hand positioning on the club, usually there's about an inch, maybe at least one finger, maybe a little bit more underneath between my hand and the top of the club. Okay. When I say top, I mean grip side. All right. So when I grip the club, that's what we normally have. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to choke down on the club one finger. So I'm going to move this little finger right here. I'm going to move it to where my ring finger is. Okay. On the club. All right, so now I've got more of the club showing there. What does that do for us? Well, quite simply, it makes us shorten the circle. So the radius that we would have with a normal grip would be about half an inch to an inch longer. Okay, so a little bigger swing circle, that's going to launch the ball just a little bit further. By shortening up your grip just a little bit, that's also going to affect that circle. It's going to make it smaller. When you hit the ball, it's not going to travel quite as far. But the best news is that you don't have to change your swing or your setup at all. You're just going to make the same swing, but instead of hitting it 150 yards, you're going to hit it more like 105 or 145 yards, somewhere in that range right there, 142 to 145. Again, we don't change the swing. We simply just change our grip. We shorten up or choke up a little bit on the club, and then we can make a normal swing. That's really going to help you when you get in those more kind of pressure situations, maybe you're playing in a club championship or you got a little money game going with, with a couple of your partners or something, and you need to hit a shot that has a little bit more controlled distance to it, this is going to be a great way to do it. It's great for all of your irons, and it's even good for your wedges. It's going to help you with that, that, that tighter wedge shot that you have to hit that has to be just spot on for the yardage. It's going to help you to hit those a little bit better and a little bit more consistently too. Give this a try. It does take some practice. You want to go to the range. If you have access to a launch monitor, kind of check your numbers, keep an eye on it. Uh, you might want to maybe write somewhere in a yardage book or maybe in your golf notes or something that, that you know, one finger down is going to be four to five yards less on this club and that club. Uh, keep track of it. Make it specific because it, this is a specific thing that we're adjusting and it's going to give us a specific result. But I guarantee you that's going to add something to your game that's going to really help you and it's going to also help those scores and help you enjoy the game more. For more tips like these, please go to smartgolfacademy.org. Go to our online academy. We're going to make you a better player.